I'd like you to take over the running of the clinic. Me? It's only for a week. Hey, what does it seem like a long time? I'll be there to give you a hand. Thanks. I need all the help I can get. I see. You'll go traipsing halfway across the world to help the Guatemalans, but when it comes to helping your own people, you... I'll call the health department tomorrow. You sound just like Dr. McKinnon. I'm not sure he'd think it was the appropriate... Look, I'll take full responsibility for it. But if Michael were here... He's not here. I'm here. Whether you like it or not. She used to make pavlova. Oh, really? How nice. Never as good as this one, though. Well, it's not the same without the cream. Ah, diet pev. <laughs> oh, do you want some more coffee? Ah, uh, no, thanks. Look, I really should be going. Oh, you don't have to rush away. No, but I've got an early start tomorrow. Look, I don't want you to feel awkward because of Tom. All the same, I do feel as if I've driven him out of his own home. That's silly awful. I'm so sorry. Oh, it's all right. I understand. It can't be easy for him. No, oh, he'll come round. Yeah, I'm sure. Dinner was lovely. Thank you. Thank you for being so... <laughs> Look, I'll call you. Cheerio, Stuart. Bye. Good night. Bye. How could he? I've never been so embarrassed in all my life. Maybe he just got held up. For three hours? If there was an accident, you know, he would have stopped to help. He's just being cruel and rude and vindictive. Yeah. I'll never forgive him for this. Never. Well, I didn't expect you to be home tonight. No, typical A, the moment I get engaged, I get left at home. <laughs> What's Duncan doing? Helping a mate with some extensions. Extensions to his beer gut, probably. Mm. Anyway, suits me. I've got an early start. So? What's the news at work? You mean gossip? Well, I guess my engagement's about the juiciest titbit doing the rounds at the moment, but then you already know about that. Hmm, let's see. I think I've managed to score a new bedpan steriliser. Oh, really? You are staff for news, aren't you? Well, I just don't want to get a touch. Admit it, you're missing work desperately. Oh, maybe a little. I don't suppose anyone's missing me. Oh, you're missed, but we're managing. Good. Look, why don't you come back? Mrs Rogers could look after Andrew. Oh, I can't leave him with a stranger. Oh, she's hardly a stranger. Oh, you know what I mean. Oh, I'd like to go back to work, but oh, what sort of mother would desert a kid who's been through what Andrew's been through? One who values her sanity? I'm ready for my first patient, Kirsty. Oh. <clears throat> it's in. He's in hmm? I suppose I've got time for a cup of coffee. I'll be in the staff room. Oh, uh, why don't you go across the road? The coffee's much better. But I'm on duty. I can beep you. And uh, Jean is very understanding. She doesn't charge any doctor who gets paged before they finish their coffee. Sweet habit. Gina's just like that. Uh, excuse me. My name's Savage. Marion Savage. Oh, yes, you've been here before, right? Yes. I usually see Dr. Fleming. Oh, well, she's on leave at the moment, but um, Dr. Dodds is available. Oh, very well. I'll just find your card. Mm. What seems to be the trouble? Uh, I was operated on a few weeks ago for a suspected ulcer. It could be an undissolved suture or adhesions or possibly subphrenic abscess. Oh, are uh, you a doctor? No, nurse. Right. This way, then. Um, Kirsty, you're on reception during lunch? Yeah. Great. Uh, me and Ellie are running a, a, a diet clinic uh, in the meeting room. I thought they were on Thursdays. Oh, well, the day's changed. This is new. Yeah, it's something, something special. So uh, could you please page me when the, pun to the patients come in? Sure. Thanks, Kirsty. Thank you very much. Did I miss the fireworks? You haven't missed anything. What did he say? 
He hasn't come back, coward. What? You sure? No, not a sign. Well, have you checked the spare room? Oh, he's not there. Probably landed himself on some poor unsuspecting mate from the club. No, but they said he wasn't there. The covering for him. Maybe he spent the night at Pat's. No, it's not like Dad not to come home at all. Not like your father to be so rude either. And now I suppose he's trying to make me worried so that I'll forgive him. But it won't work. No, maybe he just stayed at Pat's. Eh? He went straight to work trying to avoid facing you. Mm, well, if he's smart, he'll steer clear of me there too. Because I won't be responsible for my actions when I do get my hands on him. Thank you. And that copy of the budget you wanted. You know, there's nothing here that can't wait till Michael's back. Well, there's no point in letting things pile up, is there? Oh, and have you uh, contacted the uh, Kohangadeo about the B case yet? I tried to, but I didn't have much luck. What does that mean? Uh, apparently, the woman who runs the place is on leave. So you spoke to the deputy, acting head, or someone? Actually, no. Why not? Well, you said to speak to whoever was in charge. Where's the number? Um, I left it in the Taylor file. I did notify the health department. Well, I wanted to speak to the Kohangadel first. Yes, um, can I speak to whoever's in charge while the uh, supervisor's away, please? She's not. I see. Well, uh, my mistake. Um, can I speak to her then? Can I help you? I'm here to see Steve Mills. Oh, he's busy with another doctor at the moment. Or is it a personal matter? Sort of. I think he's expecting me. Actually, he's expecting me too. Oh. Oh, it's all right, Marge. Um, if you'd just like to take a seat, I'll let him know you're here. What's all this then? Uh, Steve and Alison are taking a dark clinic in the meeting room. It'd be nice if people let me know these things. Oh, look at them. They're all skin and bone and they're off to a diet clinic. Still, when I was their age, I starved myself to look like the shrimp. The what? Jean Shrimpton. A bit like Ellie McPherson, only with more personality. Hey, Marge. What's up with Tom? Is he cook or something? Not as far as I know. Where is he? You mean he hasn't turned up for work? No. And he didn't call? No. I figured he would have called if he was sick. Yes, of course he would. He did know he was rusted on. Well, to tell you the truth, I haven't seen him since last night. And would you like an orange juice? No. What about an ice cream? Hmm, still no appetite, huh? No. But she's been a bit perkier today, eh, Jackie? Hmm. Her temperature's down. Good. Do you have uh, Leonard keep me informed? Sure. Uh, anyone contacted the Kohangi yet? Yes, uh, I phoned them and they're bringing all the children in this morning. Good. Uh, they weren't too keen on creating a fuss, but I talked them into it. Oh, thanks. Hey, I reckon you might turn out to be one of the doys after all. All in a day's work. Jackie. Oh, would you mind helping me with the screenings? It'd be a privilege. Good. Uh, set up exam room three. Right. Excuse me, Dr. Ropata. Hmm. I've just seen one of Dr. Fleming's patients. Possible post-doc complications. And? Well, it's, it's kind of puzzling, really. No uh, real records and no conclusions that, that amount to anything. I'm just wondering whether I should contact Dr. Fleming. I don't think that'll be a good idea. Well, I don't think she'd mind. I think she'd be probably more than happy to come in. Who's the patient? Miss Savage. Marion Savage. That's the one. She's been admitted? Yes, yes she's resting. Excuse me. Comfortably. Hello, Pam. I want to talk about the, uh, the nicotine Nazis. These bloody fascists they are, trampling on the rights of smokers. I think something should be done about them. I've just about had enough. David. I know I agreed to call before visits, but under the circumstances... Uh, are... Andrew's asleep. This isn't a good time. Oh. Well, then maybe it's a good time for us to have a talk about the accident. Well, I told you everything that happened. I just want to know how he is. I'm sure you. You better come in. Thanks. 
Well, he's better. The wound's healing well and he's relatively comfortable. He should be back at school soon. You said something about hearing loss? Oh, we think there could be some impairment, but we don't think it's serious. Well, when will you know? Oh, these things take a while to settle down. Dad! G'day, mate. I don't want much of a sleep. I'm gonna get thrashed at some computer games. Try me. Cool. Mum hates it. Get ready to get whipped. Right, Teresa, favourite food? Japanese. I wasn't really expecting to be interviewed by a panel. I thought I'd just be meeting whoever placed the ad. Well, Sam's a very special guy and um, he's been hurt a lot. So we want to make sure that he meets Miss Wright. Right. Um, hobbies? Oh, um, gardening, I suppose. And reading. Oh, and film. Oh, oh really? Well, Sam likes going to the movies. Great. I'm a big fan of Truffaut, the whole auteur school of French directors. We can't discount the possibility of undissolved sutures. Or adhesions. Or adhesions. That was my first thought. And it could conceivably be an subphrenic abscess. I suggested that, too. Yes, well, I'd like to do some blood tests, and if we could, hold Miss Savage in for observation until we get the results back. What about x-rays? X-rays, too. Yes, of course, I hadn't forgotten. Fine, Leonard. Seems like you've got everything covered. What about something for the pain? It's all on the chart. Fine. Dr. Dodds. Yes. Thank you. As surgeons, they were always the bane of my existence. Uh, Dr. Dodds is fully qualified. Yeah, all the same, I'd rather have Dr. Fleming. You disagree with his diagnosis? Not at all. His treatment? No. Good. For a moment there, I thought there was some problem. Yes. Patrick, if you do hear anything, Bye, love. Bella? No, I suppose I could call Diane. Uh oh, the core honey has arrived. Right. Nice one at your session, please, nurse mother. We'll be with you as soon as possible. Christy, we're ready for our next appointment. Over there, the really fat one. Excuse me, would you like to come this way? Is there some kind of epidemic going on? Um, so long. <laughs> oh, really? Suck on that. How did you get so good? Well, after the way you thrashed me at Christmas time, I went out and bought one myself. What? You've been practicing? Not fair. Hello? No, oh, Holly. Mum, tell Holly he has to bring over the videos that he promised. Holly's moved out. I didn't know he'd moved in. He wasn't here for long, but Mum decided it was a mistake, so they're going to be just friends. I see. And Carrie's still about? Yeah, but she's moved out too. She's getting married. Never a dull moment. No? Okay. Yeah, thanks for telling me. Bye. What's up? Oh, just a patient with a post op infection. It's probably nothing. Do you have to go? Oh, it's not really urgent. I don't mind staying with Andrew. No, it's fine, really. It's no trouble. You sure you wouldn't mind, Andrew? I wouldn't be gone for long. It's cool. Thanks. There you go. It wasn't so bad, was it? Thank you. Uh, the results will be here in 24 hours. I'll give you a call. OK. Do I pay at the desk? Uh, no charge. Oh, so has your uh, child been vaccinated before? No. Should he? Not necessarily. Put him up on the bed here. So what's this all for? Well, uh, one of the kids at the Kohang has picked up hepatitis B. It's an infectious illness, but we can protect your child from it with a vaccine. However, we just got a test to see if he's been exposed to the virus. Uh, we just need to take some more blood sample. Right. Okay, you ready? This one would have been... Excuse me, honey. Okay. What's that on your bed? Problems? No, just some checks that need signing. I couldn't find you anywhere. Well, I've been busy. Michael always told me where I was going to be. <laughs> well, I shouldn't be much longer. What's going on here? Uh, hip B screenings. That uh, supervisor suddenly returned from her holiday. Lucky, eh? I don't like to create a big fuss over nothing. 
He is. Oh, well, I'll think about it. Bye, love. Jane thinks I should call the police. Oh, this is a bit drastic, isn't it? Kirsty, why does it look like a finishing school in here today? Oh, they're mostly here for the diet clinic. What diet clinic? In the meeting room, Steve and Alison are... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, hello. Um, missing persons, I suppose. I think I've lost my husband. Okay, hobbies. You mean like stamp collecting? Whatever you do with your spare time. You know, sport, music, dancing, whatever's going. Right, music. Now, do you like rap? Yeah, in moderation. Yes. Can I ask you why you answered the ad? Well, I thought it was kind of sweet and that's the kind of guy I'd like to meet. <laughs> I never thought it would be such a gruelling process, though. Wow, well, we've got to make sure that... <clears throat> uh, now, back to your eating habits. Didn't we do favourite foods? Yeah, but what about problem areas? Uh, do you ever go on binges? <laughs> you guys really take this seriously, don't you? That's what we're here for. So you haven't seen Mr. Nielsen since last night? No, and it's just not like him not to call. And when he didn't turn up for work... What was he doing at the time you last saw him? Well, he was going down to the dairy. I needed cream. Had you been arguing? No. Your husband hasn't been depressed at all? Oh, Tom's not the sort of person who gets depressed. What's going on? Oh, Stuart. Your father didn't turn up for work, so Jane suggested I ring the police. Yeah, I guess. Is your husband on any regular medication? Oh, just his narcolepsy pills. He nods off now and again. Could you check to see if they're still here? Stuart? Yeah. Is this condition serious? Oh, no, it's completely under control. Um, anyway, what have pills got to do with anything? Well, if he was planning to be away for a while, he would have taken them. Oh, no, he wasn't planning to be away. Have you checked to see whether he's taken any clothing or valuables There's with no him? There's no need. He was just going down to the dairy. They were still by his bed. Would you have a recent photo we could borrow? Yes, of course. We'll alert our patrols and check the hospitals. Try not to worry too much. Most people who go missing turn up within 48 hours. That's his most recent one. Thanks. And if you hear anything, please let us know. Yes, of course. There you are, Marion. Just dial one to get out. Miss Savage, you must like it here to be back so soon. I can think of places I'd rather be. How are you feeling? Oh, quite comfortable, thank you. Temperature's up, 38. All right, mind if I have a look? Oh, please. Mm. Is it painful? A little. And it's quite taut. What do you think? Well, if your temperature keeps up, we may look at doing a laparoscopy. Oh, good -o. So sad, isn't it? The desperate search for love and companionship. It's probably right under their noses and they don't even know it. Whose noses? Um, well, everyone's. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about matchmaking, though. I believe in fate. If two people are meant to be together, then it will just happen anywhere, anytime. When you least expect it. It's a rocky road. Mm, it sure is. I mean this. It's a rocky road. Oh. Um, that'll be a dollar. Sorry. Sorry. I can't believe he's had so many replies, and some of them are relatively normal. No, oh, you'd be surprised how many are unsuitable, though. <laughs> I bet he goes out with all of them. OK, thank you very much. Okay. There's a word for men like you, philanthropist. Uh -huh. OK, how was yours? Well, most of them are after him before the size of his wallet. Yours? Similar fixation. What do you reckon? Karen. Mm. She's intelligent. Interesting. Fun. Sporty. She's got eyes that you could just dive on into. I'd go out with her. Yeah, but with Sam. She's a woman and she likes rap. Let's call her then. Let's call her. 
So he can't think of anywhere else he'd be. You reckon something's happened to him? Can't say. There's certainly nothing to suggest he's disappeared of his own accord. You think he might have had a heart attack or something? He was a bit stressed out. Stressed? Well, not really stressed. He was kind of moody, you know, not his usual self. Really? Any particular reason? I'm not too sure. Some kind of trouble at home. Nothing serious. Okay. Thanks, Sam. It's good to see you again. Yeah. Hey, I've been meaning to give you a call, eh? But you know how difficult it is, different shifts, and... We should get together sometime when you're off duty. I'm off duty tonight. Okay. Would you like to go for a meal? Yeah, great. Excellent. <laughs> Jenny, there seems to be something missing from this budget file, an addendum of some sort. Oh, well, I'll track it down. By the end of the day, if you could. And I'll sign these. The top two need amending. I understand you didn't charge for the hepatitis B screenings. That's right. That's not clinic policy. I made an exception. Excuse me, I'm looking for whoever organised the hep B screenings. Here's your man. Hi there, my name's Erin McCauley. I'm from the Tribune. A reporter? Yeah. I heard about the screening program and I think it could make a really good story. Have you got time to talk about it? Certainly. Would you like a coffee? Yes, yeah, thank you. Thank you, Jenny. If I'd known it was going to take this long, I wouldn't have bothered. Well, we have to eat. I don't like being away from the phone. Yeah, well, I'll do the shopping if you like. You can go straight home. Mrs. Nielsen. Oh, yes, hello. I'd like to withdraw this. Now, here's the shopping list. You come straight home, won't you? That account's been closed, Mrs. Nielsen. Oh, that's nonsense. There must be some mistake. Sorry. But there's over $10,000 in that account. According to this, all the funds were withdrawn yesterday. Is it you or is it me? Since I think the change is what I need If I'm looking for a chance for the dream Zealand on air.